Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Just a few videos ago, I talked about how to write a blog post. Yes, we are going that far back and talking about the foundation of being a blogger. And in that video, I mentioned that you need to create some kind of outline or guide that you're going to go off of when you start writing your blog post. And the main bullet points that you have for that blog post are going to be your heading two and your heading three tags. But I didn't really dive into how to create an outline for your blog post. And I feel like that's so important to establish a good structure for your blog post to make sure that your blog post is successful and then it's broken up properly makes the most sense for your readers. So today I want to talk about how you can properly outline your blog post. More importantly, kind of just share my strategy with you guys, exactly how I would outline a blog post. So today I'm going to be writing a blog post about how I went from zero to 1000 subscribers here on YouTube. And I did just launch a YouTube video sharing some of the tips and the things that I think really helped me to grow, especially over the past few months. But I have so much that I really want to share on that topic, such as the mistakes I made and why I didn't grow for a whole year and the other tips and tricks that I really learned that I wasn't able to include in that video. So I'm going to outline this blog post today and I'm gonna walk you guys through it. The very first thing that I do, which should be absolutely no surprise to you guys, is I figure out what the topic is, what I'm going to talk about in that blog post. Now I already have an idea of what I'm going to talk about in this blog post and it's going to be how I go from zero to 1000 subscribers. So the first thing I like to do, I like to include the title or the topic right at the top. It just makes it easy for me if I have to go back through and look at what I was thinking about or if I'm writing a similar blog post in the future, I wanna make sure that I'm not talking about the same things. But when you are thinking about outlining your blog post, it is important to know the topic as well as the kind of blog post you're going to create. So are you going to create a guide, a how-to post? Is it gonna be a tutorial where you walk them through a certain number of steps? Is it going to be a list post where you share seven things that you need to know? What is going to be the main format for that blog post? That's really going to help you so you're not just kind of winging it you know you know the structure that you want to create for that blog post now all of the blog posts that I launch on my website they have a little bit of an introduction so I never start a blog post with a heading to tag never ever you guys will never see that I always start my blog post with an introduction which is just a couple of sentences that really kind of dive into what I'm going to talk about in that blog post it warms up the audience a little bit lets them know what they're getting themselves into and then I will get started with my heading to tag so I want you guys to remember that every one of your blog posts should start with that introduction but the next step that I do, I like to think about what further explanation do I need to give to my audience before I really dive into the meat of the blog post. So for this blog post in particular, talking about how I went from zero to a thousand, I really want to share with my audience my journey. So how I was able to do it and how long it took and all of my analytics and stuff like that. But I also want to share the mistakes that I made because if you guys watch that YouTube video, I shared that 2018, I only gained 300 subscribers. And just in this past week, guys, I have gained 75 new subscribers. So really, I made a ton of mistakes in my first year and it really stunted my growth on the platform. So I wanna make sure that I get that out of the way before I start sharing my tips. So the next step that I would recommend to you guys is figure out what further explanation can you give in the beginning. So let's go back to the example of talking about coconut oil. If you are sharing the benefits of coconut oil to your audience, you probably need to explain what coconut oil is and how they can use coconut oil. And that's exactly how I would start your blog post. And that would be your first heading two tag or maybe your top two heading two tags before you actually get into the meat of the post. Now, hold up. I feel like I need to explain what a heading two tag is. If you didn't watch that other YouTube video talking about how to write a blog post, I did mention what a heading two tag is and how you use them. But to explain it for you guys right now, it's basically the format or the main bullet points of your blog post. And it's the thing that Google and other little robots on the internet, they pull that information from your website and they say that these are your main points that is backing up your title. So your title is actually your heading one tag. And that is the top, the main category of your blog post. Then any heading to tag is basically the main bullet points that back up that heading one tag. From there, underneath the heading two tag, you can have additional heading three tags that back up the heading two tag. So I hope that makes sense. Let's just continue with outlining this. Then I like to map out the main points. So if you are doing a list post and you are sharing three top things, this would be your number one, your number two, your number three would come in at this point and you need to outline what those things are going to be. So for me, I want to share some YouTube tips with you guys. I want to especially focus on YouTube SEO and a couple of other things that I want to include in the blog post, but those are going to be the main heading two tags. Once I have got the main points, I'm talking like the main bullet points that I want to cover in the blog post, then I will kind of go back through and I will decide what I want to cover underneath each of those main points because most of my heading two tags are not just heading two tags. They also have heading three tags underneath them. So yes, when I start with that explanation or a little bit further information about what I'm going to dive into, those rarely ever have heading three tags to kind of back 
backup the heading two tag, but the main bullet points, they always have backup points. So I'm not just gonna start with a heading two tag that says YouTube tips, and then just have all of my bullet points below that without any heading tags attached to them. That's not really good for your SEO. It's also not very good for your structure. So if I have points that are backing up those YouTube tips, so what those YouTube tips actually are, those are then going to be my heading three tags. So these right here, these will be my heading three tags compared to these right here, these are just actually my additional notes and things that I want to cover underneath the YouTube SEO heading two tag. But one of the most important things that I really need to remember when I'm outlining this blog post is to include different things that I did not include in that YouTube video because that YouTube video is going to be linked in this blog post. And I need to make sure that both platforms are sharing helpful information and that they kind of feed off each other. So I am going to be sharing different information in this blog post compared to that YouTube video. At this point, I will go in and I will start writing the content. Now for me, I like to work in order. It makes the most sense to me if I just start with the introduction and I work my whole way to the conclusion. But that's one thing I want to mention right now is that when I am outlining my blog post, I typically do not include the conclusion at the very bottom of just the outline because I know that I'm going to include it myself. So do not forget the conclusion as well as the introduction when you are writing your blog post. But now I will go in, I will write my blog post. And once I have all the content written, then I will go in and I will continue to kind of improve the structure and the format of the blog post. So I mentioned this in that other video talking about how to write a blog post, but I think it is so important that you understand where your visual breaks are going to be. So where are your ads? Where are your videos? Where are your images? Where are your opt-ins? Where are they going to fit within your blog post? And I mentioned this in that other video, but I like to include breaks right before my heading two tag. So I will include heading two. I will write all of the information there. If there's any heading three and more information, then before the next heading two tag, I will add an image or I will add a visual graphic or something that helps to break up the blog post. And I think that this is extremely important to help with the format of your blog post because it just makes it more visually appealing for your audience when they are looking through your blog post, especially if they want to skim it. And really that's it when it comes to outlining my blog post. I know that this was a pretty short YouTube video for me, but that's exactly what I do. I grab my journal and a pen and I will sit down and I will jot down all of my ideas. Sometimes when I write the outline, it's not in the right order and I kind of have to move things around or I'll move to a new sheet and I will write it out again to make sure that everything flows and it's in the right order. Or if I've already written the blog post and let's say like the YouTube SEO section seems to fit somewhere else better, I will go ahead and I will move that whole entire section somewhere else in the blog post. My outline is really just to make sure that I am including all of the information that I need to include and that I want to include in that blog post. And I personally just like using pen and paper because I, I don't know, I, I, I like it much better than just using my computer. So. so that is it for this YouTube video. I hope you guys liked it and found it helpful. If you have some other strategies that you like to use when you are outlining your blog post, let me know in the comment section down below because you could help someone else out. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys back here really soon. Bye guys.